That game was one that I'll always remember for the rest of my life. And it took a lot of thought to figure out what I wanted to do. It happened against Northwestern. 112 to go first half. I always pride myself in being able to step to the line, make free throws, obviously me being a point guard, that's a big skill you have to have. Good. 34 consecutive free throws by Jordan Bohannon, ties Chris Street's mark set back in 1992-93. Ultimately, I, I knew what was right in my heart. He gets the one and one here to break the record. I step to the line and I miss it for the late Chris Street. And he does miss it. So he does not break the Chris Street record. It was him that broke the record, but I wanted to make sure it was Chris Street to be named first, and because that's why I did it. When I stepped foot on campus my freshman year, I didn't know too much of Chris Street at the time, as I learned from reporters around the country and alumni that played before me what a character and person Chris Street was. It really spoke to me. He was a hometown kid, just like I was. I always wanted to play for the University of Iowa. I always cherish playing in the IOU jersey like I continue to do. <laughs> that interaction I had with his family members after the game was one I always cherish for the rest of my life. Yeah, I'm so happy for you and now you're tied. <laughs> and the national recognition that I got because Mike and Patty were able to get on interviews and talk about their son again and reminisce the memories they had with him is pretty special. When you have someone in your life that you kind of look up to, but you never met him. That's kind of what Chris Street was to me. He's always in the back of my head when I'm playing, even before this all happened. He's one of the alumni that played here that really did not take wearing Iowa for granted, and that's something I always hold true to my heart. made Iowa my dream school is the tradition my dad started with playing quarterback I and mean, taking that team to the Rose Bowl. Bohannon, a long count. It's two wide receivers, neither of whom are deep. Bohannon setting in the pocket, going into the end zone, complete Hopper! Mike Hopper! Obviously, I wasn't born yet to, to see it happen, but I'm listening to his stories and the dedication and hard work it took for him to get to that point in his life it is really sunk into my heart. The fake by Gordy, he gets, gets to the outside of the 40, the 35. I was sold a dream back in the early 70s. Coach Fry came out to Los Angeles. He just said, come out, we're gonna have a dream season and in a couple of years go back to your hometown and be in the Rose Bowl, and I bought it. Coming from the family I had, I wanted to prove myself. I'm Jordan Bohannon, these are my brothers. Jason, oldest, Zach, and then Matt. And I'm the youngest. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst introduction. Really good job. I didn't want to just be another kid in the family that played Division I basketball, and my brothers were all able to do something special, so I wanted to do something special here. Bohannon, 4 3 in the lead. It's good. The elder statesman, Jordan Bohannon. The University of Wisconsin always cultured my heart as well. My brothers, Zach and Jason, played there and went to almost every single home game. The always return to the game is guarding Bohannon. The game against Wisconsin will continue to live in my head for the rest of my life. We called a play. We got our best player, Peter Jock at the time, a wide open jumper. Peter Jock, the Big Ten's leading scorer. Nigel Hayes was way too early on the rebound. and Bohannon for the lead! Yes! Probably held the follow through up a little longer than I should have, but it worked out to perfection. It was a game that a little kid dreams of doing, hitting a shot like that, where two of his brothers play. It was unbelievable. Norton tried to lower it to try to dunk. Is it even on 10 feet? Instead of being a parent that wanted to live through their kids, we let them migrate to the things that they enjoyed the most. Really good free throw shooter here. <laughs> <laughs> With four kids that have been such a joy to raise, it's going to be bittersweet when it's all over. But Jordan is special because 
he's the last one now and we're able to spend all our time just traveling around and seeing him. There's lots of stories that Jordan would do. He would pretend that Zach was slapping him and I would be in another room and he would be slapping his own leg, yelling, Zach, stop, don't do that. <laughs> and so... Zach would get the spankings. That's a funny joke with them now. <laughs> his idea was my freshman year that he wanted to make every single basketball game that I played in at Iowa. Now I have no wind, it's so much easier to shoot. That's how we became good with shooting outside. That's why we won state titles. At first, I was like, whatever, after the first season. Because I didn't really think you'd actually make it to all my games. But it's pretty special to see that many tickets. The goal for Jordan, I was just going through these. I was trying to tell Jordan, where's the NCAA tournament game? Yeah, I have two more years of games left, so. It kind of all started as a joke, honestly. Keep working, Nicholas, keep working! At the beginning of his freshman season, I was getting ready to transition from one job to the next, and I was already to, what, five or six games in a row. I made the trip out to Notre Dame. It was an ACC Big Ten Challenge game his freshman year, and that ended up becoming his first career start. Bohannon, he has made five threes. I know it's just a ticket, but you look at the ticket, the games I played, and you just kind of pinpoint little memories. Sophomore year came and went. Now the streak stands at 89 games attended for all of my brother's college games thus far, and number 90 will be at Bloomington, Indiana. Any games under eight hours, for the most part, I have decided to make it a road trip, driving the six plus hours there, which will mean it will be arrival time back in 5 a.m. for a wake up call to get back on the work schedule. The player gas tickets? The streak. Yeah. by itself is fun and it's fun to be able to travel and see my brother fulfill his lifelong dream but the most fulfilling part of the entire thing is just being able to see him on every step of the way of his journey just this year alone january 12th at home against ohio state score over a thousand points to him be in the middle of that mob at home against michigan saying mom guess what there were three different fans who were trying to take off my jersey after the game in the middle of the court and storming <laughs> in my experience with all the heritage with all the history that it entails as a player and as a fan assembly hall in bloomington indiana with the hoosiers is the top arena to play and watch a basketball game in, in the big ten Jordan Bohannon will start at the point guard, and he likes stages like this. Look for George Bohannon to have a big night tonight. Man to man, deep three by Bohannon, good! That's pretty easy. Wow, Hawks off to a great start. Iowa, back to back threes by number three. In the same spot, put an X on the floor right there. Hawkeyes are playing really, really well against man to man pressure. Here's Bohannon, double move. Drives inside the score <laughs> off glass. The Hawks up by five. Here comes a long three. No good. Oh. Dunk is good. Iowa's lead is three. You know the Hawks have a tough mental approach here. Let's see how they handle this on the road. Great atmosphere. Luis Camp to Garza. Throws inside to Cook. To Bohannon in the corner. Rainbow three. Good by J Bo. And he puts the finger up to the lips as if to say, shh. Jordan Bohannon has lit up the Hoosiers in the second half. Here's Bohannon, a three going to his right. Oh! He rattles it in. Jordan Bohannon back to back threes. What a night for the junior from Marion Lindmar. Connor McCaffrey still looking, looking, looking. Gets it to Bohannon, an immediate foul. He wants to be fouled. He oh, wants to be at the free throw line. One of the great free throw shooters ever to come through Iowa. Youngest of four brothers. You know, he's been fighting that uphill battle his whole life. He needs to make one, and it'll be all over. j -Bo says, no problem. And the Hawkeyes, a very impressive win. Thank you, Pedro.
Yeah. Happy? What? Happy. Right it's his first win on the road. First win. Yeah. First one here. Let's see, bro. It's on the field. Mr. Combo. Good game, bro. Good game, bro. Thanks. Hey, Zach. Take a balloon home for me. Purple? Uh, white. No, do a pink one. <laughs>